What? Do you grumble? I'll be with you straight. be mended, for tonight we fast. Come, I'll bring thee to thy bridal chamber. <laughs> my hope to run successfully. My falcon is now sharp and passing empty until she stoop. She must not be foregorged. She eat no meat today, nor none shall eat. And last night she slept not, and tonight she shall not. And as with the meat, I'll find some undeserving fault with the making of the bed. And here I'll throw a pillow, another way the bolster, another way the sheet, another way the covalent. <laughs> and if she chance to rail, well then I'll brawl all night and with the clamor keep her still awake. This is a way to kill the wife with kindness. <laughs> and thus, I'll curb her mad and headstrong humor. He who knows better how to tame a shrew, now let him speak. Tis charity to show.
Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempest and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark, whose worth's unknown, although his height be taken. <laughs> Love's not time's fool. The rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. <clears throat> now, mistress, profit you in what you read. What master read you? First resolve me that. Uh, I read that I profess the art to love. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you sweet dear, prove mistress of my heart. Tell me, I pray, you that durst swear at your mistress Bianca, love none in the world so well as Lucentio. Oh, Licio, despiteful love, unconstant womankind. Mistake no more, for I am not Licio, nor a musician as I seem to be, <laughs> but one that scorn to live in this disguise, from such a one as leaves a gentleman and makes a god of such a colon. No, sir, that I am called. Hortensio! <laughs> See how they kiss and court, Signor Lucentio. Here is my hand, and here I firmly vow never to woo her no more, but do forswear her as one unworthy of all the former favors that I have fondly flattered her withal. <laughs> and here I take the unfeigned oath never to marry with her, though she would entreat. Fie on her! See how beastly she doth court him. <laughs> For me, that I may surely keep thy oath, I will be married to a wealthy widow, ere three days pass, which hath as long loved me, as I have loved this proud, disdainful haggard. <laughs> so I take my leave, Signor Lucentio. Kindness in women, not their beauteous looks, shall win my love. So farewell. <laughs> Mistress Bianca, <gasps> bless you with such grace, as long as to a lover's blessed case, nay, I obtain you napping gentle love, and forsworn you with Hortensio. <gasps> Trania, you jest. Have you both forsworn me? Mistress, we have. <laughs> then we're rid of Licio. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> you have a lusty widow now that will be wedded and wooed in a day. God give him joy. Aye, and he'll tame her. <laughs> He says so, Trania. Faithy has gone into a taming school. Oh, the taming school! <laughs> 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 